The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the uh, October 21st. Yep, today is the 21st. It's a magnificent Monday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes. It's absolutely great to be with you. Of course, I truly appreciate you being here. Now, look, this show is for you. This hour. This next hour, it's really all about you, and so I'm here to serve you. So feel free to give us a call at 877-927-6648. If you can't call in, we've got you covered. I believe we've got you covered. Just let those fingers do the walking. Go ahead and send me an email, steve at tfn.com. And uh, put sub in the subject heading, if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question, that would be great. And inside our Tiger's Den, any ping will do out there. So let's go ahead and get this show started on magical, magnificent Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show right now the dow all the indices are in the green including the spot volatility index which is uh, unusual with the s p up 17 points now the spot volatility index is not up by much it's up by three pennies out there but it is something for you and i to think about more than think about to pay attention to it but you've got the dow up 32 points it's about uh, a little over one tenth of a percent to the upside a six tenths of a percent for the s p that's 17 points nasdaq up seven tenths russell up one and a quarter percent up 19 points semis are up nearly uh, well one and three quarters percent out there so a lot of movement to the upside to the downside gold's up six bucks uh, silver is up a penny light sweet crude is up 50 cents 46 pennies uh, got natural gas down three percent or seven and a half pennies out there like uh, you got uh, the T bonds are off uh, nearly one full point out here, 30. Uh as we speak right now. So there's plenty to look at. Of course, I want to look at what you want to look at. So let's go to our first request out of this. Came in last evening at about 10 o'clock, I believe. This coming in from uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Very close to it, though. And uh, Leonardo writes, Hey, Steve, I was thinking CCI was about to break down. So let's go turn over here. CCI, let's go take a look at it. What's going to show up here first? And we'll, we'll read the full question. But now you've got the daily, the weekly, and the monthly time frame charts. We know about Crown Castle Inc. right now as prices trade above the daily profile inside the weekly and above the monthly profile. Now, those profile levels provide you with support and resistance out here. So uh, I was thinking that um, CCI was about to break down when it pierced the recent uh, when it pierced the recent 135.23 low out there. Okay. And uh, da, 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 however, the stock quickly turned around. Do you think a projected top of about 159 is valid? So 159 just simply is using the previous uh, range out here. So let's go take a look at this and kind of get a feel for what our charts say. So in looking at profiles out here, uh, Leonardo, the only thing that we have for resistance is 149.47. You asked about 149.47. I can't argue with your numbers. They're my numbers. They're our numbers. They're coming from our TAS market profile system out here. Now, what you'll want to watch I'd say is so the, if you take a look at the weekly time frame chart, we'll go look at some other tools out here. But if we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, one of the things that we should note is that the uh, current profile is bearish in structure. Now, what I mean by that is the center line of its box where both buyers and sellers are where both buyers and sellers are, is uh, right where price is trading right now, which is at about the 142.02 level, 142.04. And so if price closes below that area out here, uh, Leonardo, 142.02, chances are it won't make its way up to the uh, to the top of that profile, 149.47. It's sitting right on it right now, so it's kind of a neutral signal to you and I as to which way it really wants to go out here. It really broke through or it broke through the top of its new profile uh, with some volume on uh, Friday out here. Now, if we take a look at our other charts, let's go in kind of reverse order here, right? We take a look at the monthly chart. We don't see any kind of resistance, but therefore we need to go to Steve's other decorated charts out here just to see what other, whatever, what, what other 
patterns there might be. And uh, voila, last month, the month of October, was a bar number nine of a TD setup nine count. This suggests that a potential significant top uh, would be in place out here, at least significant enough for price to potentially pull back into the 104.22 area where it broke out on a monthly basis. Now, if that's going to happen, Leonardo, you're going to need to see price close below Stevie's green line, 135.46. So you get a TD9 count top. Price pushes down to test support. So far, support is held. That's 135.46. So watch that area as well. I wouldn't it'd be tough from a uh, longer-term standpoint to take a an investment in it right now, knowing that there's a topping pattern that's in play. But that's just the monthly. Let's go look at the weekly uh, time frame, see what patterns are out here. And when we go ahead and expand this, we can see that uh, what... Uh, what CCI did on a weekly basis, but it made it made a Rhodes momentum indicator top. It did that with the, the shooting star candle out here. This was the week of September the 6th out there. Price the very following week. Nice wide ranging bar to the downside, cascading below Stevie's green line out here. So this may just be a counter trend rally that is in play out here. And so you were saying, hey, it might fall apart. Well, there's the potential here for an A to B equals CD to the downside based upon what we're looking at right now. The reality is I have to use the same candle. That's last week, both the high and the low for the B and the C point out here. But uh, let's not get too hung up onto this because it doesn't come into play unless price closes below 133.48 out here. But both the weekly chart and the monthly chart are suggesting caution to us. And when we take a look at the daily time frame chart for patterns out here, I don't have a uh, pattern that I would use, that I use, that would uh, signal to you and I that there was a bottom. Well, maybe, maybe there was a three drive to a, but sort of a three drive to a, to a bottom pattern out here. Now nah, we're not even going to go there because and then I'm trying to force things. I don't want to force things. So I don't really see. I don't have the the. I don't have a, the, the pattern tools that I use that help us identify tops and bottoms. Not every top and every bottom out here. It's just when they're present, we pay attention to them. I don't have that for CCI to then understand why did it bottom and make that move. But at this stage here, what we're going to go with, Leonardo, is it's just a counter trend rally. That doesn't mean that price can make it to the 149.47 level. I would be watching the center line of that weekly box. That's at the 142.02. I hope that helps you out. Thanks for taking the time to write in. And, uh, folks, I want to hear from you, too. So I don't see any other requests uh, thus far. So let's just simply go take a tour around the uh, markets. Although Mr. Bill is asking about CCL, Carnival Cruise Lines. I think you're asking about it. So let's go ahead and put uh, Carnival Cruise Lines up there, just in case I may misinterpreted uh, Leonardo's I for an L. Hey, that sounds good. Now, the, the statement was weekly A to B equals CD. Okay. So as we take a look at uh, CCL out here, oh, geez, geez, Louise. I wasn't geez louising Mr. Bill's question. It's just there's so many A to B equals CD patterns out here, Mr. Bill. Which one do we choose? You know, here's here's one, right? If we just simply start from the top, your A point out here is the day. We're looking at a weekly chart. I'm sorry, the week of January 29th. The B point I'd use is July 2nd. Then the C point looks like September 24th. And, you know, yeah, it looks like a one to, we had the one to one, one to 1.618, one to 1.272. We're going to go have to check our other charts to see if there's any other kind of bottoming patterns out here for Carnival Cruise Lines. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're taking like a Carnival Cruise Lines right now, and uh, we were looking at the uh, at this the black background charts out here. What we do know on a daily basis, prices above resistance, potential change in trend signal out there. It's trading at 43.35, resistance being the top of its box. We're going to go find another resistance area, most likely on my white background charts out here. And we know that price is trading with inside a weekly profile. This is a weekly profile that formed this week. So this would suggest that price should make its way up to about the 45.40 level. The new profile on a weekly basis is equally distributed, meaning the center is pretty close to the center of the uh, box out there. So neither bulls nor bears have the advantage here. The monthly chart looks like a potential hammer candle that could be forming, but the month is not over. Now, we were looking at the weekly chart. Bill was looking at all the A to B, all the many A to B equal CD patterns that are out there. Uh, but uh, as I was sharing with Mr. Bill during the break, we can see on a weekly basis, CCL tops with a TD set up nine count out here. Does this September 21st, 2018? And last week we got the uh, bullish reversal signal, Three River Morning Star pattern with price moving lower, doing less relative energy. The roads momentum indicator. Price is trading above Stevie's uh, red line. So the weekly chart says this has the potential to make it up to 53.86. That's where the weekly breakdown level is. Of course, we want to look at the daily time frame, but we'll first go to the monthly. Monthly, what's the signals out here on the monthly? Um, we can see how a top with a roads momentum indicator signal. Let's see uh, where we add wave counts to the downside. So this week, this month, I should say, happens to be wave number seven, letter number G out there. So, Mr. Bill, we know that at wave number seven, that's where you can see significant changes in uh, trend out here. Uh, and so this is certainly a longer term, a monthly candidate for Carnival Cruise Lines to identify the bottom. So that put together with the weekly looks pretty good. What was the daily chart signaling to you and I out here? Uh, bottoms with the TD setup nine count does it on bar number eight out here on October the 8th. So that's a beautiful thing. It looks like what price is doing today's bar number seven so if you're in it you would stay in it to win it but you wouldn't really get into it today or i wouldn't suggest that you do um, because resistance where price broke down is 44.21 ordinarily i would have uh, prior to to um utilizing this tom to mark tool out here we would have gone and said price would move back to that gap to the downside from september 26 and i'm not saying that it won't do that i'm just saying that you and i have a better um, 
tool to help us identify where stocks break out and break down to where resistance and support is versus just using what most everybody else is using out here. And so this just simply, it's a, it's a great tool. I suggest that you use it. Today's day seven. It could be day eight, nine, or the day following nine. So it could be by Thursday when this uh, tops out and pulls back. I don't know if it will do that. We just know the resistance is relatively close to where we're trading right now. Of course, ideally, you'd like to see it close about 44.21 out there because then a breakdown area would have failed and it would say change in trend out there. But at this stage, uh, Carnival Cruise Lines has a, pat a bottoming pattern on the daily which led to the bottoming pattern on the weekly, and you're now in wave number seven on the monthly uh, Carnival Cruise Line. That looks like you should go cruising if you're a cruiser out there, of which I am a cruiser, just not on a boat that big. I like people. I just don't like that many people. Uh, no, I like, I like as many people as possible. Just not how many thousands of people on one boat, same pool. All that kind of stuff out there, uh, not my cup of tea. I, I apologize for those of you that it is your cup of tea. It's just not my cup of tea. Okay, so let's go take a look. Uh, we had uh, Jimmy wanted to take a look at the uh, so many out here, James. Um, let's take a look at, you wanted to go take a look at SOXS. We really want to look at the underlying instrument, though. Don't we want to really take a look at the semiconductor index? Why don't we just do that? Is that okay with you? I'm going to assume you're shaking your head yes, and if you're not, uh, then bad assumption on my part. But if we do go take a look at the uh, semiconductor index, let's go see what it is that we see out here. Uh, what we can see is that... Um, we can see we can see what what can we see out here you know we've got this nice three drive to a top pattern they really set up this high at the 1626 level the first time back there Jimmy uh, was on and was set up a, a TD set up nine count back on September the 12th so back to a prior high uh, price goes ahead and breaks down with the topping signal what we don't have right now is a topping pattern we don't have a topping signal out here price above Stevie's green line but we don't have any clear break of 1626. If the semis are going to run higher out here, uh, you're going to see a close above 1626. Unlike Jimmy, back here on uh, September 12th, you know, let's just say we were looking, This it was September 11th when you and I were looking at this chart, you know, we would say, okay, very caution, be very cautious here because it looks like this is right where price could break down again because of the topping pattern and that three drive to a top pattern out there. But I don't have that just yet. So maybe it's just a swashbuckle move sideways. There's just simply no pattern out here inside the semis. There's no pattern for me to tell you that this is a top, but you're so close to an area where resistance is at out here. I certainly wouldn't uh, suggest that you initiate along. I could get the, I can understand the the, the 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 shorting of it, so to speak, but you, but, but, but no topping signal makes it more difficult for me to tell you to go ahead and fire away at that. So I hope that that helps you out. Let's go to, um, Let's go to another question. I see you've got some other symbols in there. Uh, if we've got the time, we'll absolutely go back and get to those. Let me just uh, get to some folks that have sent in requests. HD wants to take a look at ticker symbol ERIC. So uh, ERIC, uh, let's go see what in the heck that actually is out here. Ericsson, ERIC. And Ericsson trading out at 9.11 above its daily box, above its weekly box, and trading inside its monthly profile. Got right up to the uh, point of control, the center of the box, the center of a bearish structured box, sort of, 925 out here. And uh, your question is, would you please look at Eric for a possible long? Okay. So as we take a look at it, let's look at the daily time frame chart. What do we know out here? Would you take along its trade at 911? I don't have any kind of uh, topping pattern in a nice wide ranging bar. Uh, on uh, Friday would suggest that this thing wants to move higher. Move higher to where? I'd say $9.71. You're at 911 right now. If you're asking, you know, would you take a long position now, knowing that you're up against potential resistance out there? My answer would be no. I wouldn't do that. If this did pull back to a level of support, you could consider firing away support on this would be 855 at Stevie's green line 832 is the top of its daily profile out there um, this is the daily oh I pulled over the weekly what did I do holy shnikes I think I mixed everything up uh, so that was the weekly uh, so but let me take a look at the daily out here how did I do that 
Pocus, Pocus, Dominocus. Well, let's go uh, change this thing here correctly so that I'm looking at the right chart. So let me change the uh, really strange, but a strange is a uh, strange is the deal. That's what it's called. Let me change that oscillator and change line to a daily time frame from the weekly time frame. That's going to look a little bit nicer out here. So, OK, here we go. So on a daily time frame, uh, two days ago, uh, a TD nine count high out there. So uh, the answer is no. You want an entry point out here? We can also see Stevie's red line turn green a handful of sessions ago. We should see price and that line test each other. So that's going to be your entry point. Now that price is going to change. Right now today at 126 in the afternoon, it's 8.55. You're trading at 9.11. So the line may move higher. Price may move lower. There could be several combinations out here. But now is not the time to enter. you got a topping signal a couple of days ago. Wait for a retracement and a pullback. And the best number I can give you right now is $8.55 in those whereabouts. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, six and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter. And if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, so LB writes in, wants to take a look at natural gas, says, hope your day's going well. I'm liking the setup in natural gas. So let's go take a look at it right now. What we've got here is the 30, the 120, the five hour, the 300 minute chart, and the uh, daily chart on the very right hand side. And so what natural gas did today, LB, uh, so when you say you like the setup, um, price made its way down very close to the bottom of the profile, 2.208, the actual low today, 2.213. So it's back is up against the wall as long as the bottom of that box holds meaning that price closes above that level then uh, it says okay um, you, you, you could be right it's a slightly uh, higher low than the uh, bar from October 11th of course it's a slightly lower high from the box on October from the high on October 16th versus that of October 4th so we've got the cone of silence going on out here if we take a look at uh, natural gas on a daily basis we take a look at Stevie's other charts out here what we're going to see is price is also pulled back to a level of support this is your Gartley buy pattern Gartley buy pattern hasn't turned into much that Gartley buy pattern confirmed on October 3rd when it generated a bull sash candle out there a price for the most part has found real resistance at Stevie's red line. It had a close above it on the 15th, immediately got back below it on the 16th, a slight close above it on the 17th, as well as on Friday, back below it here today. So a real sideways action. So if you like the setup because you think that it's generating a real nice bottom signal, the bottom signal is the Gartley buy pattern. And as long as price Really, you'd have to say stays above two dollars and sixteen cents. That's its breakout area. It has potential, but the problem is, is that the uh, the more the price day, trades below Stevie's red line which tells us right now that the price oscillator is below zero and with price being below the red line tells us we have a falling price oscillator below zero. That's really kind of bearish. So I see why you could be or you like the setup at the same time, be aware that there's some things about the setup that you really don't like or that I don't really like out there. And that's what I'm taking a look at. If we look at, um, let, me do, do, let me do this here. Let me get the uh, weekly time frame chart out for the uh, November contract, just letting it load right now and see what we see. Uh, come on, come on, come on, computer. Come on, we're, we're live on the air. You got to do something. You got to do better than this. Um, but it's not. Uh, uh, OK, here we go. So let's pull over the weekly time frame chart for natural gas. And what do we got? We ain't got anything. When I say we ain't got anything, I'm referring to some type of bottom pattern out here. So uh, you've just look if you, you're looking for an entry point into UNG or the others at this stage here, you just. I think you've got to go back to my daily chart, say, okay, we're near where bottom could be, should be. You've got the daily profile, and go ahead and take that trade. If you see a close blow, either 2.208, or you want to give it more room to run, 2.160 out there, you go ahead and keep the trade open. And close below those levels, uh, you go ahead and exit and uh, relook at the charts out there. So LB, I hope that that is uh, helpful to uh, you, and thanks so much for taking the time to write in. Uh, we've got Nick. Nick writes in, and Nick wants to take a look at uh, ticker symbol M, MDR. So let's go do that. Let's get back to our three time frames out here. MDR. Let's go see what Nick is looking for. If anything, um, can you please comment on MDR, the stock itself? Okay, so here's what we know right now. Um, the price is trading. This is McDermott, McDermott International. Price is trading above the uh, top of the daily. Uh, it's trading with inside a brand new weekly profile. It says support is 193 and resistance is 341 and below the uh, monthly time frame. So you don't have a clear set of signals here. The question would really be from a commenting standpoint, did this thing make some type of bottom out here? And uh, if we take a look at what this did recently, um, which is actually today, it's made a TD setup nine count. Remember, the high can come on bars eight, nine, or the bar following nine. This happens to be the bar following nine out here. And maybe this is going to make a B line, not much of a B line. You're trading at 208 for where this broke out at 169. If it closes below 169, we'll say 160 right now. That spells trouble uh, inside this equity. If I go look at the weekly time frame chart, so my comments there are um, watch what happens as price pulls back to support because it looks like 
that's what it wants to do. That is McDermott International. Price has been moving lower, doing less relative energy from a weekly standpoint, but no bullish reversal. Candle and price on a weekly basis now, uh, it continues to trade below Stevie's red line out there. So that is not a good scenario. It's trading at 207. How low can it go? I guess it could go to zero out here. Not likely, but that, I mean, I don't know if it will or it won't. I'm not saying that it will. Um, I'm just saying it becomes pretty hard now to project where this thing is headed to uh, further south on a uh, monthly time frame. No bottoming signal out here. Maybe week number four of a TD setup nine count. So I don't like you're asking me, Nick, what uh, would I comment about MDR stock? Um, it looks to me like this thing wants to pull back even further out here. So don't know what they do. It doesn't matter what they do. We just kind of look at the uh, charts out here. So uh, thanks for writing in. I hope that helps you out with regard to uh, that. Um, you're looking to add. Okay, so I see this uh, writing back in. If you're looking to add, you've done the investigative work on it. And so in this case here, your support levels are going to be 160, 167, and 189. And I have no idea which, if any, are going to hold. But knowing that you've got the TD set of nine count and you want to add, we're going to say today is not the day to do that. You want to see those levels of support get uh, tested. Those would be the areas to uh, go ahead and add to your position. I say be careful, though based upon what we just looked at on the uh, weekly and the uh, monthly time frame charts out there. So uh, again, uh, thanks for writing in. Hope that helps you out. Okay, so we got all of the requests in. Uh, yeah, we've got all the requests in. And that says we've got some time here to go take a look at. There was another request by Jimmy in the den, wanted to take a look at ticker symbol VC. Let's go look at the VC, figure out what that is. That is Visteon Corp. And Visteon Corp trading out at 83.51. Right now, just back below the top of resistance on a daily basis. That's the top of its profile, 83.71. Price above the top of the weekly and just slightly above the top of the uh, monthly. So this has some potential. Let's go look at the daily time frame chart. What's today's candle doing? Oh, that's a bummer out here. So a price was moving higher, doing less relative energy. You got the bearish engulfing candle. You're below, just slightly below Stevie's green line, just slightly inside the top of its daily profile. Uh, this would say that price may be uh, targeting 7811, 72.51, or 6505. Those would be the areas right now. Uh, obviously, as price moves down, maybe we get some type of bottoming signal. Is it a guarantee that price will move down? No, it's not a guarantee, but you've got the signal of a top. And so, um, with regard to VC, Jimmy, if you, were, I don't know what you're looking to do with this. I certainly would not be adding or stepping into a position today on VC. At least that's what the daily time frame is saying that this thing wants to pull back. Uh, let's take a look at the the uh, weekly time frame for VC. Well, shoot, you may be in week number nine of a TD setup nine count out here. So the weekly chart, and we know that Stevie's red line turned green. This says that there's a rendezvous uh, with price at around and St price in Stevie's green line. Currently at 7360. Uh, so in that range out there where it's trading now in 7360 out here. So the weekly and the daily say uh, trick or treat, and it says it's a trick. So I would just stay put as we speak right now for ticker symbol VC, Vistion Corp. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. We'll go take a look at the ES Mini for Peter, the new profile in the Russell 2000 for Jay, and anything else that you'd like. Be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. So we're taking a look at the uh, TAS market profiles for the four equity futures contracts. I've got some daily, some weekly information out here. I'd mentioned, uh, or I think I mentioned, the Russell 2000 is attempting to form a new market profile. Now, the top of that box is 1545. The bottom is 1503. The center is at 1528. We're trading above the top of the box right now, 1551. So, Jay, this profile may not form. This began attempting to form early this morning, about 4 o'clock. 5 o'clock is when it showed up on my my screen out here. Um, it's using my advanced Doppler system. Um, you really won't know till tomorrow out here. So I can't say for sure. But here's what we do know. We got to go with the information that we do have. The reason we use that super Doppler is uh, it, it, it provides the great information. Right now, the Russell 2000 is trading above the top of that box. If it And that suggests that price wants to move higher. Now, if we take a look at higher to where would be your question. If we take a look at the Russell 2000 equity futures contract, no topping signals, no bearish reversal candles on the move. But remember, I've shared with you that prices will typically continue moving higher until we see some type of bearish reversal candle. Well, on the current run off of the test of support, breakout support, 1465.20 for the Russell 2000, no such bearish reversal candle has formed. And this suggests, uh, Jay, everybody else out there, that what the uh, Russell 2000 is likely doing is targeting 1586.20. It is in wave number four uh, to the upside out there. Basil teaches that wave number four, something different can happen. Not always happens out there. But 1586.20 would be my target to the upside inside the Russell 2000 out here. If we take a look at the uh, NQ panel number two, um, there's a new profile that formed a couple of days ago. This used that super Doppler system and... Uh, uh, this thing actually did form prices above. It's a bearish in structure. Prices above the center line is 79.12. It would close above 79.12. More likely than not, 79.94 and change becomes its target. So this suggests higher price out there. If I take a look at the daily chart for the NQ, there was an A to B equals CD pattern that uh, completed on Friday when, we gener when it generated a bearish engulfing candle. But price never broke through support. Stevie's green line. So we got a bullish pattern and a bearish pattern out here. Go to the profiles. Um, it is uh, slightly leaning towards higher price out there. So we got to go with higher price 
at 145 in the afternoon. Expect the NQ to make a run for the top of its box out there. Now, one of the reasons we would suggest that is because... Hey, knocking on the door is the ES Mini. It's not knocking on the door. It's blown through the door. The door was $29.95. That was the top of its daily profile. This is suggesting that price will make a run another 30 points to the north. Uh, that would be 30.32, approximately 300 points for the Dow. Well, that would take you up to 29,000 or so. But right now, the Dow is struggling at 27.042. That's the top of its daily profile. Granted, you've got the weighting of uh, Boeing. That's in there that is um, uh, punishing the stock, but th that's okay. We don't we don't really care. What we want to understand is where support and resistance is, and where price is trading in relationship to it. So, in summary, the ES mini above the top of the box, it wants higher price. Russell 2000, if you call this the weekend to see out here, it's above the top of its profile. It wants higher price, and if you take a look at the NQ, it's above the center line right now. That suggests it wants higher price out there. Let the Dow kind of do its thing. So that's what's going on. From from a profile standpoint out there. With regard to market breadth, if you were speaking, Peter, about market breadth for the New York Stock Exchange, what do we know about it? Well, market breadth from the standpoint of using the advanced decline oscillator is at 79.54. It's making a higher high as price is making a higher high. So this is all uh, copacetic. Whatever copacetic means, everything is grooving and moving and suggests even further prices to the upside inside the New York Stock Exchange. Very likely you'll get that advanced decline oscillator reading up to the plus 150 area before you may see a plus 150 failure. If from a market breadth standpoint for the New York Stock Exchange, you were asking about the advanced decline line out here, well, you're at a brand new all-time high today. Uh, brand new all-time high as we speak. So that is very uh, important, very powerful. Markets do not crash or have significant pullbacks let's say, significant tops out there when the New York Stock Exchange advanced decline oscillator is at a new all-time high. And that's where it is as we speak right now. So market breadth is good. Now, everything is not lined up. That's the problem. That's what makes these markets uh, um, as choppy as they are, because the signals that you and I get, the reliable signals that you and I get out here, aren't all uh, confirming with each other. What do you mean, jelly bean? Well, if we go take a look at the VIX index, spot VIX index, as I said, you got the ES mini up 13.75 points, and you have the spot VIX index up three pennies. Uh, Stevie says, what's up with that? Really, what is up with that? Well, it's a dangerous thing out there. It's a dangerous game. It's a dangerous game when the spot volatility index continues to make higher lows, as we have right now, and you've got the S&P making slightly higher highs out there. That's the kind of divergence that says you've got to be looking for a top out there. That doesn't mean that it's today. Maybe the top comes when price hits those resistance areas inside those futures contracts that we looked at. Maybe it's some type of pattern that is unfolding. Maybe it's a TD setup nine count pattern inside the ES mini with today being day number seven. It says we might have uh, two, one to three days before that top comes into play out here. I don't know. I just know that this pattern which you can't use as a timing tool. We use it as a, a great tool that says, make sure to uh, take an umbrella if you go out because you could get poured on out there. And so there's th this, this pattern is the one that uh, uh, suggests the most caution to you and I. Just a pullback, not some type of market crash and so forth out there. Get that out of your mind if it was in your mind out here. Now, if Peter was asking about market breadth, for example, for the S&P 500, hey, we've got that too. We can take a look at market breadth for 60, 240 daily and weekly. You'll see all of the dials are in bullish mode out here. They're all in the green area. So you've got positive market breadth, bullish market breadth across the board for those time frames. We take a look at the NDX 100 out here. The NDX 100 is going to show us. Did it change? Yeah, it did. Let me make sure. Yeah, and you've got bullish market breadth for every single time frame as well. So those are your market breadth numbers, uh, these last ones here, courtesy of the uh, folks over at Taz Market Profiles. Hope that helps you out, uh, Peter. 
uh, and uh, Jay and uh, all of the other listeners that are out there. Let's see, do we have any other requests that are in? We're getting pretty close to uh, to uh, uh, having to wrap things up, so I just want to see if there was any other requests. I don't see anything else. Okay, so uh, that's good. Um, what else do we want to uh, look at? Hey, where can the S&P 500 run to? Well, where the S&P 500 is likely running to, we've talked about this before. Here's your monthly horizontal trading ranges. Beautiful chart for the S&P 500, is it not? Well, beautiful, because if you take a look at these horizontal trading ranges, look at the highs. Back in 2000 and in 2007, you can see where price stopped, right at that monthly horizontal trading range. Boundary line, if I were to ask you based on that, where's your projection for the S&P 500? You would say... Somewhere between the rising trend line and 3067, Steve O. That's the cash indice out here. Steve Rhodes with TFNF. Be right. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, take a quick peek around what do we got out here. If we take a look at uh, Treasury bonds out here, Treasury bonds today are in day number nine of a uh, TD setup nine count out here. We did make a lower low. 
Um, we have to watch for a potential bottom inside of Treasury bonds. Last time Treasury bonds bottomed is where the TD setup nine count was on bar number eight. Doesn't matter. It can be bar number eight, nine to the bar following nine. So, uh, you know, we'll want to take a look at uh, what T-bonds are doing uh, come manana or maybe in the overnight action out here. If I take a look at a real short term time frame for Treasuries, short term time frame being a 30 minute time frame out here. I don't have anything good, any really great signals out here on a 30 minute on a 60 minute. I take that back on a 120 minute time frame chart. It does show that price is trying to form a bottom. Price is moving lower, doing less relative energy out here. So some of the intraday uh, signals inside of the uh, 30 year are saying uh, be cautious. Look for a potential uh, bottoming pattern out there. Doesn't guarantee one. So you got to really be cautious because um, price is trading below right now. It's bullish structured profile. Nonetheless, you still have a TD setup nine count pattern that is in play. And so we'll have to pay close attention to that over the course of the next couple of days. U.S. dollar index may be bottoming out here. Uh, today is going to be day number eight of a TD setup nine count. You can see price testing its breakout area of 96.98 out here. So this may hold and form a uh, bottom. That means that if the U.S. dollar index is forming a bottom, well, then maybe the euro is forming a top. If we take a look at the euro, you've got your A to B equal CD pattern. You've got bar number eight that was on Friday and if you were to see some type of bearish reversal candle this would generate a sell the D point and a TD setup nine count top and this suggests that the euro is going to pull back because Stevie's red line turned green a couple days ago we're going to see that line the OUL oscillator and change line and price catch up to each other this also says that the great British pound may be trying to form a top it's got an A to B equal CD to the upside today's bar number eight and it's a high out here. So let's watch those currencies. They may be the next big trade out there. Counter trend rally in the euro and the pound may be over. Folks, thanks so much for being here. Stay tuned. David White's up next. Tom O'Brien, 3 to 4. I'll be back with you tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Take care.